Hi, my name is Beth Griffin. I'm an acupuncturist here at All-in-One Acupuncture and Wellness Center in Portland, Oregon. Um, <clears throat> today I'm going to be showing you really quickly two point locations of acupuncture points that you can press at home to help encourage the regulation of heart function. Um, <clears throat> they're easy to describe, um, but it's really better to actually show you on the wrist. So um, the first point is called Shen Men or Spirit Gate. Um, it's on the heart channel. It's the seventh point on the heart channel. I've outlined here the pisiform bone of the palm and the tubercle of the scaphoid. These are um, on, the, on the borders of the carpal tunnel. So you actually feel when you're feeling across the base of the palm, there's a bump here and then a little um, valley and then another bump here. So um, these are your two main landmarks. Um, Heart 7 or Shen Men is on the lower border of the pisiform bone and it's um, just towards the um, middle of your hand from a tendon that's the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon and um, so you find this point at the wrist um, along near your wrist creases um, but it doesn't have to be at a specific wrist crease um, the point is right here and you can angle your pressure um, towards the palm and then out towards the tendon itself so um, you can use a dull toothpick, you can use your finger, you can use a, a cocktail swizzler stick, um, whatever you feel like using. Um, this point is a really small and specific, so it does help to actually use a little tool to press that point. You can press the point for anywhere between 30 seconds and a minute. Um, just with gentle pressure um, once an hour and it should help to regulate heart function. Now the second point is um, right here. It's called inner gate or neguan. It's on the pericardium channel and it's the sixth point on the pericardium channel. Um, the landmark here is the scaphoid tubercle and then the um, tendon of the flexor carpi radialis. Um, so when you come to this bump, when you clench your fist, you can feel a tendon coming down from that bump, um, and you follow the tendon down your wrist, you measure two thumb widths down from that tendon. Um, and on the border, again, towards the middle of your arm, you're going to find that point. Um, there's often also another tendon uh, right next to that one. Um, this is the um, palmaris longus tendon. Not everyone even has this tendon, so I don't use it as a reference point. But if you do have it, sometimes it's right next to this tendon and it's hard to get actually right in between the two tendons. So again, it's best if you use a little tool, something like a dull toothpick, um, a like a, just a little piece of plastic of some sort and press into that point. Um, since if you do find the point accurately and you feel like you've got it, um, sometimes it can start to feel a little um, nervy because there is a median nerve that runs through there. That's the one that goes through the carpal tunnel. Um, and if that starts to feel um, like it's creating any kind of numbness or tingling or discomfort, do not press that hard um, and press more gently and make some little circles. And you can also press on the opposite side of the wrist the same point to help um, create that acupressure point. Um, but if you have uh, two tendons that are really close together, generally it is easier to just use a little tool to press the point. So those are the two um, excellent acupressure points for helping to regulate heart function. Um, they're both calming, 
during this exercise, you should be able to um, spend that minute or two minutes focusing on your breathing, relaxing your chest, and doing an abdominal breathing. So there you have it, and I hope that those points prove useful.